from Cuvid Tools, and I'm going to show you in the next half an hour uh, what Cuvid Tools really is and what you can do with it and how it can potentially help your business uh, along. Um, so this table of contents. Um, what is Quivy Tools? It's a, a bit like Dominic said. It's like an advanced tool, tool set to manage your Podio and Globi flow, or should I say, uh, Podio workflow automation uh, processes. Um, you can boost your productivity because you can work a lot faster. We pinpoint you to the things you want to know without have without you having to search for them or uh, or find them out in un unorthodox ways. So we really try to be like a Swiss army knife that helps you to be more productive within Podio and Globiflow. Who are we? We are just some, some three guys from Belgium. Um, I should say something else as well. In the presentation, there's three Easter eggs hidden. If you can spot them all, that means we can give you um, a voucher code for uh, e either uh, if you're a new user to Quizzy Tools or you are an existing user. Uh, if you spot the three Easter eggs in our presentation, uh, give me a chat, give me a mail on which pages you saw them and uh, I'll get you the voucher straight to you, all right? So that was the first one actually, if you didn't notice. <laughs> Okay, our story. So um, I'm a Podio consultant since 2013. Um, and a bit later, I teamed up with Thomas to uh, actually manage our, our, our clients a bit more proficient into uh, Podio itself. So we built Quivy Tools first rough version. Uh, and long story short, in May 2019, we released it to the public. Uh, so other Podio users can, uh, can use it as well. Um, you can also find it in the extension store, uh, obviously. Um, and lastly, in 2020, there's a third guy joined Bavo. He does a bit, uh, a bit of everything, really. Okay, what can Quivy Tools do for you? Um, we believe our tool is really an advanced tool set. It has a lot of features. Um, I try to to summarize them into six for the purpose of this demo. Uh, the first one would be visualizing your complete setup. Uh, I'm going to talk a little bit about the Chrome extension, diagram view. And then uh, the last three points are really when you dive into your work, you're working, you're building, you're changing, uh, then the other features can really help you with that. It's, it's uh, inspecting, error debugging, and advanced search and filtering. Uh, you see, you notice on the right, I'm going to share the, the PowerPoint presentation afterwards with all of you. Uh, you can find uh, videos on our website explaining uh, what Quivy Tools does, uh, either two minute videos or 30 second videos, and some uh, obviously in text format as well, what uh, you can expect from the tool before you start uh, your free trial or, or anything. Right, first one, visualize your Podio setup. How how is everything connected in your Podio? Um, we basically have built a uh, website, quivtools.com, where you can uh, see all dependencies. You, you know, the screenshot here is really small, but after the PowerPoint, I'll show you uh, a live demo. Um, so basically, we show you how everything is connected. Workspaces, uh, apps, fields, globi flows. Uh, the whole bunch really. Uh, how is it connected and how does that help you to build a better system uh, to get out redund redundancies, uh, errors, uh, stuff like that. Secondly, Chrome extension. You can basically do the exact same thing as we provide in our website uh, via the Chrome extension. Um, me personally, I you mostly work with the Chrome extension because it, it allows me to stay within Podio and within Globiflow without never having to leave. Uh, but it's it's down to personal, uh, what you prefer really. Uh, we see like, it's almost like half people use the Chrome extension and the other half use the website. So it's really down to you what you, uh, what you want to use. Right, thirdly, we have the, the diagram view. It's, it's not only about having, showing connections and relationships. A lot of people want to see diagrams, especially the boss or 
whatever, or someone who's really a deep architect who, who wants to uh, have a, who's really visual oriented. So we have like uh, automatically generated diagrams of your podio, uh, which you can reorder, collapse, uh, whatever. Um, our system will also remember the last uh, type of view you did for the next time. So we don't have to worry about uh, losing your preferred view here. Fourthly, we have the expect dependencies. As most of the cases are you're going to delete or reorder your fields and apps, and you're actually not sure because either somebody else built it or your system is quite complex, or you just can't remember because it's too long ago. Uh, and there's Grivy Tools really is a help for you to, uh, to, to make you help you make informed decisions without you having to worry about anything. Uh, so yeah, before you delete the field, we're going to say, no, nope, don't do it. Uh, there's, uh, there's this and this dependency, uh, watch out. Okay, fifthly, we have error debugging. Uh, so what we basically do is we'll show you all the errors you have in both your flows and your podio. So that could be calculation errors, could be uh, flow errors for, imagine you deleted the brick or, uh, flow or uh, it could be anything really and we're going to proactively show you uh, watch out in this workspace you have uh, seven errors and here's how to fix them uh, yes uh, there's video for that as well obviously and then lastly but not really lastly we have the advanced search and filtering find anything Again, in Podio, and I should really start saying Podio workflow automation instead of Globy flow. Sorry for that. Uh, I'll, I'll do my best from now on. So uh, yeah, we, what we basically do is we augment the Podio search the way you know it. Podio search is already quite powerful, but there's just quite a few things missing as well, like searching, I don't know, for metadata like uh, IDs or uh, stuff inside uh, workflows, uh, etc. So our tool helps you with that as well. Uh, imagine a company, uh, an employee leaves the company and you want to know uh, wherever he's referenced in your setup, in your flows, email bricks, whatever, our tool will tell you exactly that. All right, uh, next we're going to have a little chat about the latest features. Uh, so what we did in the last couple of months is just a nifty, well, the, the first one is actually not that great, but it's 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 for Pete Cuff, if he's listening in. He asked me like last month, that would be really neat if Quivy tools would do that. And voila, there we have it. Uh, you can see now a little bit of more metadata in Quivy tools. Um, secondly, uh, you can also now search uh, views, so it means like you want to delete a view, but you're not sure if it's used, our tool will tell you that uh, also now. Okay, what do we have next in the pipeline? I'll show you in a brief second as well. Uh, we all know, of the most of us know that end of December, uh, the Global Fall rebranding will be become full circle. Uh, that means that everybody, and that means kind of everybody, we'll have to uh, 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 change some things in their flows. For example, all reference to, to HTTP globiflow.com will have to be replaced. Uh, Quivy tools can actually help you today with that. You just search for it for globiflow.com and we will tell you where, uh, where you can find it. But we plan on releasing like a nifty little, just a small dedicated tool to just basically uh, make it extremely user-friendly and say like, hey, did you know you have 31 occurrences of Globby flow? Click here to fix them. And there you go. So that will be released, I guess, in the next two or three weeks at, at most. Right, and then lastly, a thing we're kind of excited about ourselves, and I'll show you also within 10 minutes or so, uh, history viewer. Um, so basically, we're going to give you an overview of who changed what, where, and when, but more about that soon. Right, uh, if you're already uh, thinking that this is something for me, we have a 14-day free trial. And we also recently launched a free um, request a free demo service, meaning 
uh, I'll have a personal chat with you or one of my colleagues will have like a 20 minute uh, uh, Zoom call with you to explain your QV tools in private, a bit like, uh, you know, Podio used to do in, in the 2012, 2013 area. They also gave you a call and explained Podio to you. Those were the days, uh, it was great. All right, okay, let's dive in. I made like, uh, I'm only having 15 minutes, so I'm having, uh, I have set up a really quick demo here. So uh, something for you to really quickly understand. So I made a workspace with three apps. We have clients, we have orders, and we have products. Uh, I don't think I need to explain a lot about, uh, a lot about that. So that should be uh, evident of what it is. Okay. Um, so if we go to Quivy Tools, just go uh, log in over here. Okay, we go to architecture and then we go to our uh, workspace, which we want to, uh, to look at. Where is it? Quivy Tools, here it is. And then we go to the, uh, the demo workspace, right? Just get that out of the way. So basically you get like a little overview of the counts, how many fields, items, flows, stuff like that. Uh, and you can drill down to every level. So each, each level is color coded. For example, purple is workspaces. If you drill down to an app, so that becomes blue. Uh, if you go to uh, the field list, you will see green. That are the fields of the app. You can drill down. Uh, you can, can go back up again with a demo and uh, you can also have flows which are orange. So we also give you here an overview of the flows. You can edit in Globy flow. You can view the app in Podio, etc. We show you dependency details here. Uh, yeah, that's like in a really uh, quick sense uh, how our website is organized and you can all see all the details. We even tell you which brick uh, you can see stuff, you can do stuff. Um, so it's like a huge spider web of how you made set up uh, your organization, right? Secondly, our Chrome extension uh, integrates all this right within Podio. So you will uh, see here if I'm logged in correctly. Yes, exactly. You see like a little icon coming here. You can click on it. We give you some basic info. Uh, you can see that at all levels. Uh, so also the most important one or helpful one is the field level. So we have both in, in the view of the, of the item, but you more importantly, still you have it in the edit template item where our icon really subtle this uh, appears and disappears where you expect how you would need it you see you have three kinds of colors there's green there's uh, gray and there's also red for um, errors uh, the green one means means there's dependencies so it, if you click on it it will say yeah you have two dependencies this category field is used in this calculation in the same app, but obviously we also show it for uh, other apps related. And it's also used in this flow. You can click on the flow and there you go. Uh, that's our uh, beloved flow engine where you can, uh, we even tell you where, where the brick is, right? Uh, the same goes for the gray ones, but the gray ones don't have any, uh, dependency so we can safely delete it if you say i don't need this field anymore just go click delete and uh, sleep tight no problems uh it's safe uh, if you do want to mo know more there's always the green viewing privy tools button which takes you to the website version of our tool and gives you a bit more insight still in, uh, in that's also what i was just talking about that this is really new we just launched this this week where you can see a little bit of uh extra uh, information in, uh, in, uh, and for calculation fields, there's uh, also, we show you the return type, this text. Okay, anyway, on to the next. We also have a uh, diagram view, which you can see here. This is the diagram view. So really quickly, because I made a really simple setup, there's only two relationships here. So uh, 
if you click on the fields, you can highlight it, you can drag them around, uh, whatever. And the system will automatically save it the last few you, uh, you looked at. Um, you can also collapse it if you don't want to see this one, then the relationship disappears for a moment uh, until you expand it again. All right, then we go to the fourth uh, uh, feature. So that's the inspect dependencies. Uh, I showed you a little bit about that, but I'm going to show you a practice uh, example now. If you go to, uh, for example, here, click on the green one, and it was, yeah, I, I think I showed that one already. That's, uh, that's one that's a normal case where you, the green icon tells you, uh, beware, there's some connections here, right? Um, fifth uh, is the error debugging, and that's kind of where it gets uh, a little bit uh, interesting as well. So if you go to the overview, let's say I go to the workspace overview, our uh, system will uh, sell you there's no errors for the moment, but let's just introduce an error. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to delete the color field, although it's connected to uh, it's other fields depend on it. So I'm just uh, go here, delete it, done. So what our tool will do now, it's going to recalculate. You see that on the icon here. You also see that here, uh, there will be a task here if it's uh, recalculating, right? And now what we do see, suddenly we do have five errors because yeah, actually we introduced it. So you can click on it here and we will tell you uh, basically what the errors are. Uh, the same can be achieved uh, here. If you go to the modify template and I go to here, you see the icon has turned red, click on it. And you say this field has one error and there will be other red icons as well. So if I click here, I go to the exact same page and I can say the calculation reference is an unknown field color and you can uh, basically fix it. So how do we fix it? Uh, I want to get rid of that one. So if I just uh, replace that by something, uh, something, something else. So let me save that. Uh, this zoom window is always getting in my way. Sorry for that. All right. All right, and if we go to here, we should see, of, of course, I know this is live demo, but you see the error is gone and uh, voila, you fixed uh, your system, All right? Then um, we also have the search, which you can find here. So if you go to search, you can search for stuff you which you won't find in, in uh, Podio itself. For example, I can search for app IDs. Here's one I prepared earlier. Uh, if I search for that one, it should find one of the demo apps I just made. Right, here it is. It's the products app and I can view or modify the template. The same applies for field IDs, which uh, is, I prepared one earlier as well. So three, one, four, four, three, nine, Let's search for that. And it should, yeah, definitely that's the field in this app, this demo, etc. Right, it also works for words. Uh, suppose I search for the word weather and I want to know if it's, is it used in Podio or Globiflow. So I do a search for that. And yes, it is. It's used in this flow. Let's have a look. Let's have a look where the weather is. Uh, yeah, it should be here, right here. Um, and that's what our tool to tells you, brick one. So we even tell you it's in the number one brick. It's also displayed here, brick one, uh, making fixing your stuff really easy. It works the same way. Suppose you have a, an employee leaving the company and you want to know where is this guy referenced. So let's say we search for his email address like this. Same thing, should find the flows where it's, uh, where it's used. Let's have a look. And it says brick three. So we go here, uh, whatever, brick three. Where is brick three? And right, there we have him. So 
can fix it as well in no time. Fifthly, we have the uh, view search. So what do we do? I have made a view and it's, I think if I'm not mistaken, it's in the products app and it's called some weird view name. So we go to Quivit tools and we search for part or full name. So we just go for a weird view, which is part of the view name. We should find it. Yes, it does. And again, in the flow, open the flow. Yeah, I'm just cleaning up tabs here. Uh, where is it? Uh, I missed it somehow. Uh, where did I do it? Ah, in the search. Search. Sorry, I was I closed the wrong window. Sorry for that. So weird view. Edit and global flow. And yes, uh, right here we have the some weird view name. Right, and lastly, you can also search for, you know, end of December, Globiflow rebranding. If you just say you search for secure.globiflow.com, it will tell you where you can find it. Um, this also works if you are a Podio partner for multiple organizations. You can filter by organization and say, yo, I just want to query tools once. These are the tools and you can edit them one by one and fix it. But like I said in the introduction, we're going to release a, a nifty tool that actually makes it even more user friendly for you. Right, that was about the features and I have another five minutes or so to tell you about uh, the rebranding tool. Well, actually I just did. Uh, we're going to make this tool here, but it's going to be a bit more user friendly still and just saying, uh, in front fund, you have like uh, 17 places to fix it. And then uh, last but not least, the change history. Um, it will uh, be released in November. We're uh, actually already, all the technical work is almost done besides the user interface, but we want to make it a good interface. It's, it's, it can, this is really, really like a bad mockup, but it gives you the idea of what it's going to do. It's going to say, yeah, on that precise moment in time, your uh, colleague Phil created a workspace, finance, view the workspace. Okay, interesting, but uh, no deal breaker. But this one is maybe a bit more interesting. Let's say Mary deleted an app, invoices. Uh, so I think that's a, that, that is important information. So. Sometimes you see these discussions and bigger companies where they say, uh, yeah, you deleted. No, I didn't do anything, uh, whatever you did it, or it just got lost by itself. So now you will have like uh, who did what, where, when kind of overview. Um, we should be able, that's like phase two, but we should be able to do restores as well. Um, like always, uh, Quivy Tools does not handle your data itself. We just deal with the structure of your setup, not the data. This, for instance, mo uh, Momentum Backup does a backup of your data. We, we don't do that. We don't have access to your data, uh, but we do to your structure and do all kinds of these kinds of things uh, with that. Um, yeah, we got this idea actually a month or two ago, maybe a little anecdote, uh, a customer of Quivy Tools called us like really anxious and panic. And he said, yeah, I lost the calculation field with uh, 2000 lines of code. That's apparently a limit in uh, a calculation field, 2000 lines, didn't know that. He said, it, it's just gone, just blank. Can you please help me? And I went, yeah, sorry, dude. Uh, no, no, can't help you, but I'll check. So I'll uh, check anyway a bit with Thomas, my colleague. Uh, he dived into our database and, and it was basically sheer luck, but we were able to help him. Uh, and that got us thinking like, yeah, but if we were, why don't we do this like structurally? Um, that, that, that's really like, I think a great tool to, uh, to add to Quivy tools. So uh, that's what we're going to do in the next couple of weeks. You might look out um, for that.